Buona sera and good evening everybody! Man with a plan here. Welcome back everybody to Stranded Deep. Great to see you guys again. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing freaking great. I fear I may not be able to see you for very long. As I am about to die. I am very close to death right now. Extremely close. Because in the last episode we kicked the freaking butt out of this dude. How's it going there buddy? Wave for to the people in the world of YouTube. Hi! <laughs> oh, it felt so great to be kicking this guy's butt. We can take all of our spear gun arrows back. Super freaking useful. I'm a little bit worried here. Thankfully, we managed to chase this guy around, and our home island is just over there, so I might actually be able to get my butt back without freaking dying. Um, I'm gonna try and drink a couple of coconut, because I don't think I've had any today. And that normally means that I won't die a painful death. Um, let's see here. I'll just drop this. And maybe we'll drop the hammer. That should do it. Let's grab a couple of coconut. We should be okay to at least drink two. Because I know I can drink two and eat one. And then not... Well, blow chunks out my asshole. But I believe we should at least be able to drink two. Without fear of my demise. Let's give it a go here. One coconut. Wait, where'd you go in coconut? Get your butt back here. Uh. Two coconuts. Okay. Alright, no poops. We're good. Excellent. I didn't blow my ass out. Alright, great. So what are we going to do today, guys? I would really like... Let's make sure I pick these things back up before I forget. I would really like to go explore again. Because I like our little crap shack. It was our first little house, you know, but we've not really been utilizing it very much, and I'd love to do some more. I really would, and I really want to build something much, much bigger. You are going to be coming with me. Definitely, buddy. <laughs> I love the freaking sharks so much. I also want to murder all of the rest of the sharks that I can find in the game. That definitely has to be a thing. Let's get our raft over, pick up our shark, and get our butt back, and get our vitals under control before we freaking die. No! No, come back! No, that's not fair! I raised the sails before I lifted the anchor. God damn it, Raft, get back here! Come on, come on, you can catch it, man. Don't run out of stamina. Come on, don't run out of stamina. If this thing drifts off into the distance, I'm gonna be so peeved. Come on, come on, come on! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, you freaking suck! God damn it! All right, I guess we're going to come back for the shark. Holy balls, that was damn close. Oh, I, I know, game. I know, I know. Don't worry about it. We're going. I do not like this music. I really do not. No, you stay the hell away, freaking starfish of death. It's all right. We made it back. I just don't like it how this music is playing again. Surely I'm not going to lose any more HPs if I'm not got a negative effect and I'm not dehydrating and I'm not starving or anything like that, then I'm not going to lose any more HPs, right? Surely that's a thing. This music is telling me otherwise it really is. Oh, give me water. 45 days survived. That was a big hit. There is an ugly ass shark chasing me like he is super fugly look at him over there i don't know if you guys can see him over there he is super freaking chasing me down he's a big old sharky and he is ugly as holy balls i'm on my way back to go and collect the hammerhead that we killed and maybe some other items around i might want to double check these wreckages i could do with some more boxes and some more things because we're not quite fully stocked on my raft but then i definitely want to start exploring the world a little bit more. All right, super freaking sweet. I brought my raft over here so I can start looting this puppy out from all of its tastiness, and I never even tried it, guys. Check it out. The torch works under freaking water. The freaking torch works underwater. I didn't even know how goddamn useful is this. So I've been having a little clear out of this area. Down here, I got two stacks of tires, which is super freaking sweet. There was another door. Was it this one? No, not this one. There was another one up here. It was guarded by a goddamn lionfish. So I don't know if I can get in here easily. Was it this one? No, not this one. There was another one. It's alright. Don't you guys worry. I am carrying my oxygen bottles if I need them. Just in case we get freaking trapped and screwed here. Oh, I must have been further down. Is it this one? Yep, there he is. Freaking lionfish. Can I kill you? I'm assuming I cannot. 
Hmm. Slightly problematic. That guy will poison the hell out of me. Uh-oh, O2. All right, Mr. Lionfish, don't mind me. Just going to open this door and have a little look in here. Oh, that's good. I'll take that. And another freaking box. I don't have room for this. Don't mind me, Mr. Lionfish. Don't mind me. Yes! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, drop. Equip. Breathe. Oh, that was freaking close. Oh, that was freaking close. I've lost my torch now. Crap. It's alright, I have a spare. Oof, jeez. Holy balls. Alright. That's all the exploration was of this place taken care of. Sorry, that would have been extremely freaking dark, but it's hella creepy having the flashlight out when you're down inside of a goddamn wreckage, don't you guys think? I'm gonna put away all of this treasure. Hopefully I've got enough to carry all of this. My god, getting these tires out of here is a giant pain in the ass. Ugh. Christ. I've had to dive down here like three times just to get this one to this door. Come on. Come on. Get... Get out the freaking... Oh, don't tell me you're not gonna fit. It's alright, screw it, that's fine. I can come back for them at another date. I don't want to waste the time on it right now digging them out because I want to be doing something else today. But first, we can't carry this guy home, sadly, so we're just gonna have to skin him up. And I'm very curious as to what we get out of this. Oh, yep, yeah, some leather, very nice. Leather is good. More leather, that's two. Do we get a third? We do get a third. How about a fourth? Do we get four leather? Oh no, that sounded extra squelchy. We're on meat now. Mmm, what is this? Large fish meat. Oh, baby. Oh, you're gonna freaking smoke up real good. Yeah. Whoa! And then he jumps in the air very excitedly. So three meat and three leather from that guy. Oh my god, that's great. Um, little night snake. Bye, dude. All right, let's get ourselves back home because I have a huge amount of reorganization to do back at our little base place. I will return for the barrels and the tires and such things at a later date. I don't need them so much now. At the moment, I have other pressing concerns. So here we are, returning our way home yet again. Only this time we've got freaking shark meeks to smoke up, which is going to be great. Now what I want to do is I really want to go and find a more suitable island. I kind of settled here just to put up a little bit of shack, play around with some of the mechanics of building and water stilling and all of the other craftable utilities and benches and like try out farming and things like this. But now I've kind of know basics about those things. I want to go find somewhere awesome to build, like super awesome. I love the idea of putting a house on top of like a, a rock cliffing on an island, but we never found one very good. So we've got a buttload of extra crates now. I'm going to take a bit of time off camera. Um, ooh, potatoes. I am going to be needing more of these really badly. I'll chuck them into the still for now and we'll get that into what little fuel we potentially can for our little motorboat. But yeah, I'm going to spend a bit of time off camera gathering up some things, getting stuff organized here. I want to make up a few more of my water skins with the leather strips. I want to smoke up some meat, fill up all my water. Look at all these freaking buoy balls I got hanging around. This place is a goddamn mess. I'll bring you guys back once we're ready for the off, and we are going exploring. Welcome back, everybody. As the moon begins to dip below the horizon, we are pretty much ready for the off. I spent a little bit of time sorting some things out around here. I expanded the raft considerably. She's got an extra little layer of canopy going on. Move the uh, motorboat into the center so that we could add some extra storage over here. We've got my diving stuff, which is all worked out well. I've stocked up some extra water. I made more water skins and all of those are full as well. We've even got a freaking antidote because you know how man loves to poison himself. And I've even managed to make up a little bit of extra food along with the shark meat that we managed to gather up as well. I've got some extra storage on the side here too. Uh, I got tools, more tools, and even more tools. As you can see, I've been playing with the label maker, which is freaking super great. 
it's an amazing thing. Got some extra stuff over on here, our coconut drink flask things, a couple of extra storage. Everything's looking pretty sweet. I even decided to put a lantern down, just in case. I got my cloth, I got my rocks, I even made a little trip around the island and found a few more pieces of clay, but I didn't find much more than that. We do have a few things to take care of. I've got sticks, I've got planks, I've got metal that is containing extra sticks, because I don't have so much metal. One of these, though, got a couple of lashings knocking around, a log and trick. Ah, there we go. A fuel can. That's what we need. Because I cooked up whatever potatoes I had into whatever fuel I could make. So, we can fill this guy up and refill our f motorboat as much as possible. Which is a good thing. We're going to be needing this guy. Definitely going to be needing this guy. Where did, where did this guy live? There he is. Fan freaking task. I even made myself an extra couple of refined axe, a few extra knives. I'm looking pretty good here. I do have one of the kura fruit from the last island that I went to visit that I saved, and some spoiled potatoes that I will be able to replant, and along with our yucca cutting. A couple of plants knocking around here, plenty of lashings, and one pee pee. But what I need are the rest of the leather that I've got left, because there's one thing that I wanted to really freaking try out before we left. I also had a little bit of a play around with making any of these extra structures to go on the raft, right? Because we could fit the the container shelf could go on there. So I thought, what else, construction-wise, could we potentially put on here? I wanted to try a chair, because the chair was kind of interesting. If I come over here, and I grab my planks, I think it was only four, and I make a chair, it will allow me to place it in the air. So I'm wondering if I can put a chair on my raft. Oh, I freaking can. Plank chair. Can I sit on said chair? What? I can't sit on the chair. What? I wanted to sit on the chair and fish. Oh, I can kind of do this. And crouch and pretend I'm sat on the chair. Right? It's just like being sat on a chair. It's a freaking huge weight of planks if you ask me. There's one other thing I wanted to be playing with here, just in case. It's the sleeping bag. I really freaking wanted this. We need three pieces of cloth, three sticks, and my last three pieces of leather. Oh, of course. Man wants to go on an adventure and go sailing across the wide ocean seas. Poseidon says no. Well, you know what? Screw you, Poseidon. I'm gonna go anyway. We need three pieces of cloth. Oh, freaking sweet. Achievement unlocked nomad now. I was wondering if I can put this down. Oh It really is sleeping bag Pick up or sleep and save and then we can just pick it back up again. Oh my god. That's freaking great That is the best thing ever. Can I put this down here? Would I lose it if I left it on my raft? 51 days survive come on come on, please I'd be so happy if I can have a bed on my raft. Just drag this puppy out to sea. There we go. Uh, what the holy crap? Why is my raft sinking? Hang on a minute. Is it because of the sleeping bag? Oh. I believe it was. The chair seems okay. So far. Although I'm not drifting anywhere. That's probably because of the anchor. All right, let's do it. Into the horizon we go. Now, the last time we went exploring, we headed off in this direction. So I'm actually going to head in completely the opposite direction and see what else is knocking around. Where is my compass? Sounds like a great idea. So I want to head pretty much due east. Well, you know what? Now, I'm going to head northeast. Northeast sounds like a good idea. Pretty much nailed that. Farewell, little crap shack. You have served me well in the time that we were together. I never really utilized you to your full potential, but I wish you to explore the world. Man craves adventure. No way already. What? I only came past one island away from where I lived. Um, okay. So, that's slightly problematic. Hmm. So I, uh, I have my concerns. 
I've been sailing for some time now. And, um... Nothing but ocean <laughs> seems to greet me. There's the border of the map again. Balls. Holy freaking balls, look at this! There's a goddamn whale out here with me. Middle of the freaking night, I've sailed a fair way around the outside of the map. I haven't found anything of interest except for this goddamn whale. Oh, he's get Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Are you a friendly whale? Will you come say hello? What if I hop in the water with you? Will I probably be eaten by a giant freaking shark? I want to say hello to the whale. Where are you, buddy? Hey, dude! Oh my god! How's it going, whale? Hey, buddy! Oh, he's freaking amazing and cool! Dude, he's freaking huge! How awesome is that? What if we... Can we spear the whale? I have to wonder. And he's out of here. He's like, nope. Man wants to spear me. I am diving down into the depths. That is super freaking cool. I shall continue my explorations. I will find a place. I will find a new home. The few islands that I have seen, I have already visited so far. I hope the map is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hope the map is bigger than it appears to be. 52 days survived. I have been sailing for an entire day. Literally an entire day. This one looks interesting, but eh, not super sure. I'll have a look and check it out, but so far we've encountered nothing but a couple of whales. What is this? I've never seen a shipwreck out on its own. They're always around islands. What the crap is this? I've had no luck at finding a new island that I like. That one's kind of tempting, but yeah, maybe not. Gotta have a look at this. Of course, night time is a falling. But that gives me a good chance to try something out. Close my sail, drop my anchor, and grab my sleeping bag. Oh! Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, dropping my sleeping bag was a super bad idea. <laughs> What the holy balls am I supposed to do now? I'm an idiot. I so should have freaking realized that. We had a problem putting that on the raft in the first damn place. Now what? Can I, like, flip this over somehow? Oh, I'm on top of it. That's good. Oh, bollocks. Come on. Come on. Become uprighted. Nope. No, oh, come on, come on, come on, you son of a bitch, yes! Yes, yes, I managed to flip my raft over. Freaking sweet, however, my sleeping bag is long goddamn gone. Balls. What? The great Abaya? What is this? Where's my anchor? The great Abaya? What is... what the crap? It's got to be about this wreckage, right? It has to be. I have no way to save the game now since I dropped my freaking sleeping bag overboard. Alright, let's check out the wreck. What is this? Oh man, I want to do this in daytime. I can't see anything. That's super freaking curious. I got some funky music as I sailed away from the area. I'm really curious about that. My um, flashlight is very, very nervous about this entire situation. But we're going to head over to the island that's right next to it, right here. Put down a shelter and sleep for the night because I don't want to stand adrift for the next six, seven freaking in-game hours. And then we'll check it back out in the morning. Maybe this island will do really well, actually. I kind of like the look of it. Hi, good morning, everybody. I, where are you? Come here, you. I have been hacking up all the trees around because I know I'm going to freaking need them. Let's pile them all up on here. That'll do just fine for the time being. 
Ooh, that sounded like water. So I built myself a little bit of a camp. I got a couple of water stills on the go. My smoker ready to rock and roll. Super freaking handy. We're not doing too bad. I'm letting myself starve out because I want to know how much food the shark meat gives us. I feel like that's a really good idea. Now it's cleared out a little bit. I can definitely see something here. I really freaking can. I gotta go back over and check out that random wreckage, which is... It's over in that direction, actually, because I moved my raft over here, so I have access to its inventory a little bit easier. But let's have a little bit of a look here, just for a hot second. What I want to do... It's kind of what we tried to do in one of the first episodes. I want to build a house up on top of here, but we found a problem with that. When we build up, we can place foundations, but then we can't build down from those foundations, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But I got a good amount of sticks, so I'm going to give it a shot. That's the clay. Here we go. There we are. Grab all of the, all of the sticks that we possibly can. We're going to need a lot more lashings, too, that's for sure. Where are you, the lashings? You're somewhere. I know you are. Here you are. There we go, we're full. All right, let's have a little bit of a look here. Like always, the placement of the first foundation. Super freaking key. So do I want two accesses up, or do I want to join them into one? I kind of like the idea of joining them into one, but it's a little bit hard to judge the distance. Hmm... Alright, let's give it a shot here. We're gonna have to give it a try and see how we do. I'm gonna need a hammer. Where my hammer at? Man's got a hammer, and he is more than willing to hammer in the evening, and even in the morning, all over this land. There's a couple of really interesting islands. I can't believe how many wrecks are around here, too. I'm super pumped to be checking them out. Alright, let's have a little bit of a look here. Uh, we're just gonna do it with wood, because then I can destroy it and remake it. That's generally the idea. This is where it gets tricky. Because I've got to be able to get this place just freaking right to be able to work out. You know what? How about we do it another way? I know that on the top of this rock, I'm going to want a foundation. So I can kind of use this to measure where I want it to be. Let's see here. I'm going to say, with a little bit of an overlap, about there. Yeah, I think about here. So if I put that down, I should be able to measure out. You guys see what I mean? Because at the top of this rock is going to be the same placement. So if I measure these out, I know that one staircase climbs up at the same angle as to the width of one foundation. So if I keep measuring out, I should get the position right. Right? All right, good. Thankfully, I can place these all together without completing them. I think... That, that should give me the angle of the dangle around about right to be able to head up to the top here. So can I, my next question, is if I can build the steps up without completing the foundations. That's the next question. I'm going to require more sticks to do it. Now this is my concern, is if I break these up into sticks, I can't make them into planks. So that's a little bit of a worry. However, oh actually, oh that's freaking genius. I don't need to. You will give me sticks back, right? One. Two, three. Oh, you give me three back. That's okay. Because now I have the position of that foundation. I don't need these anymore. If my measurements are correct. Alright, so let's try this. Uh, out with our hammer, into our buildables. Onto stairs. Now let's see here. It looks like I can indeed place a staircase. That's good. Oh, oh. Oh, you should... There it is. That looks like a freaking good angle, doesn't it? That looks pretty freaking good. Alright, I'm going to try and hammer this together with lo what little materials I actually have. And I'll see if it works and I'll bring you guys back in a hot second. Oh, good morning everybody! What a beautiful freaking day it is. Check this out. It actually worked out incredibly well placed. I, I really am freaking pleased for it. Except for one thing. When I try to walk up my stairs, it gets very confused. I'm like an inch off the floor here. It's really freaking annoying. But look at this. As we make our way up, all the way up to our top, our floor lands pretty much perfectly on the top of this rock face. I'm really freaking excited to be checking out some more of it. So I managed to suss out a few things. Um, I definitely want these stairs in place, but I'm going to leave the floors in for the time being. Because I want to be replacing all of this with plank. 
for sure. I definitely really do. Um, what I'd like to do is kind of join these together, maybe about that height. So that this floor actually kind of joins in over there. I think that's what I kind of want to do. But I got to see how much space we're actually going to be able to make up here. And see how much floor space we can make. We're going to be using floors now, I think. Oh, it's a little bit clippy. It's a tiny little bit clippy, but I can deal with it. It is that freaking close that I can deal with the tiny bit of clippiness. Look at this, man. We can see so far. We can see all the islands that are nearby. Oh my god, I love it. Check out our raft from up here. He looks super happy in our little camp. Oh, I'm so freaking pumped. Um, let's see how much floor space. What I really want to know is if this will connect easily to over there. I feel like it will. We're gonna run out of sticks pretty soon. So I want to finalize the idea of how I'm gonna lay the stairs because this little tiny bit of clip is that's really annoying. That is going to drive man completely freaking insane because it can't walk up the goddamn stairs. But I'm sure there's got to be a way around it. Good morning and welcome back, everybody. As man falls yet another tree. How's it going, guys? So I had a good play around with trying to lay out these foundations the way I wanted. It just wasn't going to happen. I wasn't going to get another stairway accessing there. It wasn't going to happen. It wasn't going to look right. I didn't like it. Changed my mind. But... This has worked out pretty well. I've just been hammering down some more trees, and we have started turning things into planks. I've also figured out what was going on with the plank thing. Let me show you guys. The trunks are here. If I look away from them, it's not in my menu. But if I make sure there are the trunks on the screen when I access this, it is in the menu. So it is my field of view that allows me to craft things from stuff lying around, which is super freaking handy to know. I've been using these little plank wedge foundation things for my stairs because it saves me one whole plank which is super freaking useful uh, let me go ahead and finish off this last little bit and i'll show you guys how i've been doing it so i did guys i, I pretty much almost knocked down the entire thing and tried replacing it and it, it just wasn't going to work it was going to take me way too long and it probably wasn't going to work out and it was going to be a waste of resources so i decided you know what we don't really need two stairways accessing our new house anyway that would kind of be a waste of time so if we go into here and i build myself just the floor and put it here that's going to do just great because we need that to hold its place otherwise i'm not going to be able to put a new floor down here and it's going to make me very sad in my life i'm learning a little bit more about the building mechanic it's pretty sweet but um i wish i could build things down that would make things much much easier there we go buy sticks I'll come down for you in a minute. Uh, one of these, a little bit of crafting, uh, one plank wedge, and now I can just go here and rotate it around. And we can pop that guy there. Because this is three planks, and the full floor is four planks. So I save myself a plank. Crap, my hammer broke. And that was my last refined hammer, so we're back onto crude hammers now. Thankfully, I have one knocking around, which is a huge pain in the butt. I like the way it looks, though. I like the way that it looks. I want to do some finalizing about this, make it look a little less floaty, but I'm enjoying this so far. Let's go ahead and finish up this bit, and I have been putting down some foundations on top, which is super nice. Oh my, it is much freaking slower building with this lump freaking log hammer thing. That takes forever. But check it out, guys. I laid out a little bit of stick flooring around here, and what I've been doing is replacing this with plank now that I was happy with this position so I could reuse the sticks up here, thusly saving more locks to be turned into freaking planks. But I'm liking this, check this out, we're gonna have a good bit of space out here, have a nice little kind of balcony-esque area on front up here so that I can look out to see. We have loads of space up here actually, I'd like to make a staircase heading up into a, a second level maybe as well, just kind of spread it out a little bit more. I haven't picked where I'm gonna put down things like crops, and stuff like that quite yet, but I think I'll make a little outsidey kind of area as well. And it should all look pretty freaking sweet. I'm really pleased with it. Finally found a nice little spot for me. I'm super chuffed. I'd really like to make a dock as well, because I'm sick of turning around this goddamn raft every time we come back and end up having to head out back out to sea. It's a huge pain in the balls. But I'm super loving it. What a great little spot for a house. I'm really enjoying this build. Hopefully you guys are too. Sadly, I've got to call it here, guys. We've ran long enough for this episode. I've been working on this one for about three days. Three, maybe four days in the time I get after work. So if you have enjoyed it, do a man a huge favor. Hit the like button for me. Let me know that you like it. And let me know what you think about the game in the comment box down below. 
57 days survived and we need water and we need food. Actually, which brings me to my thought. I haven't tried the shark meat yet and I've been saving it. Large shark meat. Oh my Jesus freaking God. Look at the size of this chunk of meat. What are we at? One? Um, oh, and one bite as well. Oh baby, that's good. That's like four and a half bars. Oh, that's freaking awesome. I get myself some water and I'll have a little bit more of a play around with this off camera. And in the next episode, we've got to go and check out that wreckage that had some kind of an event or something going on there. Really freaking stoked to be checking that out. Thanks very much for joining me, guys. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget, subscribe for more. All the amazing survival games coming on the channel in the days to come. Oh, oh, delicious water. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to get back to doing some building work, get this thing a little bit more finished, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, my friends, take care, everybody, all the best, and I can't wait to see you all again soon.